I remember the end of my first semester at Clark. You know, I've convinced my parents that I'm on this very serious law track. And I walked physically, Carrie, miles and miles and miles to the Wu-Tang store because Wu-Tang Clan, biggest group in the world at the time, had a store on Peachtree Street in Atlanta. And I walked from, let's say, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. to go give my best elevator pitch to them on why they should hire me on the spot. Wow. wow. That happened. I mean, by foot. So I'm telling my age, right? This is 96. So no cell phone, no Uber, by foot. You just like four, you like just four hours. I'm walking. I'm walking until I get to this address on Peachtree Street. And I did, and the door was locked. They were done for the night. I broke down in my cheap outfit on the ground on the sidewalk, crying hysterically. Um, because oh. one now evening, two, the doors are closed. So I feel like I played myself. And three, like, who do you think you are? Are you from Wilson, North Carolina, out here trying to work for Wu-Tang Clan? And so in my mind, in that moment, I felt like I was basically chasing a pipe dream. And I'll never forget in that moment, trying to figure out with tears in my eyes what I was going to do. Do I walk back? Like, I got to figure it out. And I stayed there and I was like, I'm just going to wait until someone comes. And I was willing to wait until the next day. And honestly, Carrie, in less than 30 minutes, someone came down and opened the door to leave, opened the, the locked, like lights out store to leave. And I gave my best elevator pitch and I was hired on the spot. Oh my God, that story gives me chills. Oh my God, I love this story. That we is, don't hear stuff like that no more. That is like, I, I, I listen. I know. I mean, we are the same age. We, I get the hustle. Like I'm walking, I'm doing whatever it takes to get whatever it takes. And that's the thing. Okay, so. Yeah, so it's, it, this is before sliding in DMs, going to LinkedIn and yeah. right, like meeting somebody to, like it was hardcore hustle and, and finally yeah. landed the role. So who was it that opened the door and what was the job? The guy's name, gosh, you take me back 24 years. I think his name was Mecca. I hope I'm getting that right. I'm sorry if you're out there and I'm getting your name wrong, but he managed them okay. and okay. opened the door. And I remember, you know, he was just walking out to leave for the evening. And I remember kind of dusting myself off, standing up again, right? This is after a four hour walk at night and I look, <laughs> so, you know, I basically, like, you know, and I basically said, Hey, like dishe yeah, disheveled. And I said, I'm in Atlanta for college. I want an opportunity to work for, for you. I'm willing to do it for free as an unpaid intern. I just want a shot to prove to you why I should work for Wu-Tang Clan. And he said, I, he said, tell me more about yourself. Do you have a resume? No, I don't. I don't have a resume. I have no job experience other than working for Foot Locker in high school. But I can promise you no one is going to work harder than me. And he said, mm -hmm. I'll do one better and hire me on the spot with pay. And so... Mm -hmm. That I worked for there for over a year and literally became kind of like the promotion assistant and, and really found my way from that first opportunity.